Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, so we're going to continue uh, with module 1.2. Uh, in this lesson, uh, we're going to be focusing on how to filter observations and to select variables. And we're also going to delve more into the topic of how to create new variables uh, using the dplyr mutate verb. Um, so far, we've used mutate to change existing variables, but we also want to know how to create new ones. Um, <clears throat> so to illustrate these concepts, we're going to be working with the Varieties of Democracy dataset, or VDEM dataset. Um, the VDEM um, Institute comes out with uh, a number of measures of democracy, um, more than I can count on many hands. Uh, the most famous measure is the polyarchy score. Uh, so we're going to be working with that a lot in this course. Um, the VDEM data um, package is the package that you can use to download the VDEM data set directly into R. And it's going to be perfect for illustrating uh, filter and select uh, functions, uh, the filter and select verbs from dplyr, uh, because um, the main function in the VDEM data package, uh, VDEM, that's the name of the function, it doesn't take any arguments. It just downloads the whole data set right into, uh, right into R. Um, and usually we don't need the whole data set. So we're going to have to do some filtering and selecting uh, in order to make that data set manageable to work with. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, let's just take a real quick uh, tour of the VDEM website. So this is VDEM Varieties of Democracy. And if you go over here um, to data sets and you look at the drop down, you'll see that there are a number of data sets. The one we're going to be working with is the VDEM data set. Uh, and you can just download the data straight from here if you want in a CSV file or even as an R data file, um, but uh, but we're going to be using the package uh, uh, that they provide to download the data into uh, into R. Um, so um, yeah, so one other thing uh, I want to show you here are reference documents. So if you go if you scroll down a little bit on this web page, um, there's a code book here which is really useful. Some information on the methodology, how they uh, calculate their democracy scores, information on country coding units, etc. Uh, probably the code book is the one that uh, I reference the most. Uh, so if we just go in there, so uh, oftentimes if I want to find uh, a variable um, and I want to find some information on it, but also want to know what its code is, uh, I'll just come straight to um, the, the code book. Okay, um, so it has all kinds of information here on all of their various uh, measures of democracy uh, and related concepts uh, along with the codes uh, for those various measures. Okay. All right, um, so why don't we go ahead and get started? So let's go into our module 1.2 Quarto document and we'll just start by creating a new section here. And we're going to call this one filter observations, select and create new variables um, in this lesson. We will work with the VDEM data set to download data from VDEM and um, clean it. All right, and we can go ahead and insert uh, a code chunk, label it hash pipe label. Uh, let's just call it VDEM. And then from here, we can kind of get started on the code. So uh, first, we're going to load our packages. This uh, For this one, we're just going to load the VDEM data package and hopefully you have installed this. If not, you might want to pause the video and do that. Uh, and then we'll get started on the code for downloading the data. Okay. And we're going to store it in an object called uh, democracy. 
and um, the function doesn't take any arguments for downloading the data from the VDEM data package. It's just VDEM. That's it. So VDEM means take all of the data from the VDEM data set and give it to me now. Okay. Uh, but that's going to be kind of big and unwieldy. Um, and so we want to pipe it into, first of all, a filter verb. And we're going to filter it for a year greater than or equal to 1990. Um, and of course, this requires some familiarity with the VTEM data to know that the year is called year, lowercase. But, um, uh, but again, looking through the code book uh, can help you with that type of thing. And then we're going to pipe that into um, a select verb. Okay. And here we're going to select um, the variables that we want to work with. Okay. And one other thing we're going to learn here is how to change the name of the variable as you're downloading it. Okay. So the name of, for example, of the country name variable in the VDEM set data set is country underscore name. But I just want to call it country. So I'm going to say country equals country underscore name, comma. And then that's going to download the country name variable as country in my data. Then VDEM underscore country ID equals country ID. So their name for their country ID for the VDEM country ID is country underscore ID. But I want to be a little more specific, and you'll see later on in this module why I'm doing this. I want to call it the VDEM country ID. Um, essentially, we're going to merge it with some other data, so we want to know which ID is which. Um, and then we're going to download the polyarchy score, uh, which is their most well-known measure of democracy. It has to do with level of uh, with electoral democracy. It's a measure of electoral democracy. Um, we're going to download that, and um, we're going to call that. And that the name of that variable in the data set is v2x underscore polyarchy. All right, and then um, and then we're going to also download data on GDP per capita. The name for that variable in the data set is eGDPPC, and then uh, region. Also, we're going to make a region variable. They have a region code in there that we're going to use for that. Uh, e underscore region, Paul underscore 6C. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a little more to this, but let's just uh, have a look at what that, uh, what that looks like. We'll do a view the data. Glimpse. Democracy. Right, and let's run that and see if um, if R likes it. Uh, could not find the function select, so it's saying that it doesn't have dplyr R loaded. Um, I did load dplyr R earlier in the lesson, but I must have closed out of R and then opened it again, so that's why it's not giving us the function there. So let's put let's load dplyr R again. Okay, and there's our data. Okay, so we can see we have a country name. Uh, we have the VDEM country ID, polyarchy, GDP per capita, and then um, region. Uh, but notice our region here is not very informative. It's just like two or three or four or whatever. Um, and we want to fix that. So we're going to pipe in a mutate function. region equals and we're going to use a function called case match okay which is going to allow us to replace the values that we just saw in region the numbers the numerical values with the region name all right so uh region equals case underscore match region okay and what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, assign 
each of the values to a region name. And we're going to do that with a tilde. So, uh, so one is going to be, you can think of this sort of like as an equal sign or maybe even an assignment operator, but we're using a tilde here instead. Eastern Europe is region one. If we go ahead and look at the code book, we can find that. Um, is true, all right. Uh, two is Latin America. Three, till date. Uh, Middle East. Four, till date. Africa. Five, till date. The West. Western Europe and North America, uh, North America essentially. Six, till day, Asia. Okay. So that is our case match function that is going to assign region names to values. We encase that in a mutate call, uh, meaning that we want to create a new variable here called region. All right, and let's go ahead and run that and save it and then run it and see if R likes it. Okay, and it worked. Now we have a new region variable um, that is um, essentially telling us what each region is. Okay, but uh, one thing I'm noticing as I look at this is that we're actually missing the year variable. Um, we filtered for year up here. We didn't actually select year though. We didn't include so, uh, year in the select uh, verb. So let's go back up and do that. And we'll type year here. And we don't need an equal sign um, because we're gonna leave the name of year as year. All right, so that should insert the year variable. Let's go ahead and run that again. And then have a look at it and yep there's the year and then as one final check we can go ahead and click on the data frame itself open it up and have a look at it make sure everything passes the smell test so um sweden is definitely a western country switzerland a western country these should have high polyarchy store scores high gdp per capita ghana is in africa um South Africa is in Africa. Yes, these all these data all look good. Um, the GDP per capita we can tell are actually in thousands. Um, so if we want to use the data for visualization, we'll have to um, eventually deal with that. Uh, but for now, these data look pretty good. Okay, so um, so that's it for this lesson. Basically, uh, we downloaded the VDEM data. Uh, we wrangled them a little bit, um, selected the variables that we wanted to work with, filtered the years, um, and added a region variable. Um, notice, though, that um, this uh, country ID variable here is, uh, is going to be a little bit specific to VDEM. That's why we called it the VDEM country ID. That's why we relabeled it. Um, this is going to be a different coding system than we might see uh, in the World Bank data. And so that's what we're going to um, start dealing with in the next lesson, because ultimately we want to be able to merge these data with data from other data sets. Um, so that's what's up next. I'll see you in the next lesson.